The Emirate of Dubai has a unique recent history. Though the area has been settled for thousands of years, it wasn't until oil was discovered in the 1960s that Dubai became a megalopolis for the world's rich and famous. The Emirate also offers extremely relaxed tax laws in order to tempt international business moguls. Today, it is the go-to destination for anyone with a business idea and money to burn. Today, we are counting down the top 10 richest people in Dubai. Saif al Gurair is an Emirati businessman, holding the 10th largest fortune of any Dubai resident. The 96-year-old man has spent his entire lifetime amassing a huge business empire and a personal net worth of $1.9 billion. His eponymous al Gurair group is one of the biggest conglomerates in Dubai, and it has holdings in numerous businesses. For example, the company represents major ventures in petrochemicals, packaging, metals, real estate, stock brokerages, and more. Those familiar with Dubai will recognize two of Guerrero's biggest real estate holdings, the Reef Mall and Burjmont Center. Together, they represent two of the biggest malls in Dubai. They are anchored by brands such as H&M and Forever 21, and include such popular brands as Splash, Modelon, Brands for Less, Next, and LC Waikiki. Guerrero got his start in finance, with a bachelor's degree in accounting at the Alain University. He's gained many skill sets since then, and shared the knowledge with his family. In fact, all six of his sons are integral members of his highly lucrative business. This nonagenarian has had a full lifetime, and his business is only growing by the day, along with his ludicrous net worth. Hussein Sajwani is a real estate mogul with numerous holdings all over the Middle East and elsewhere. He is the chairman of Dubai-based luxury real estate developer Damak Properties, which he founded in 2002. And for Sajwani, business was in his blood. Both his parents were successful entrepreneurs. His father was a trader with a shop at the local souk, selling watches, Parker pens, shirts, and goods imported from China. Sajwani obtained a government scholarship and attended a medical college in Baghdad. After his first year, he left for the U.S. and attended the University of Washington, where he studied industrial engineering. Sajwani's first job was as a financier for Abu Dhabi Gas Industries. From there, he started a catering business that worked exclusively with wealthy clients. This is where he learned that Dubai was an up-and-coming destination, with money to be made for the newly rich. He now owns a real estate conglomerate with unbelievably lavish offerings in London, Dubai, and Paris, among others. These include a golf course designed by Tiger Woods and managed by the Trump Organization, luxury apartments with interiors by Italian fashion houses Versace and Fendi, luxury villas styled by Bugatti, and the Versace-branded Aiken London One Tower. In order to sell these outrageous properties, Sajwani has been known to offer unreal perks, like a free Lamborghini with every purchase. At one point, Sajwani's wealth was over $4 billion, but it has since sank to a respectable $2.1 billion, making him the ninth richest person in Dubai. Abdullah Futaim is a remarkably wealthy businessman who grew up in Dubai. He built a multi-billion dirham fortune through selling Toyota cars, franchising global brands such as Zara, Ikea, Toys R Us, and Hertz, as well as setting up shopping malls like Dubai Festival City and Cairo Festival City. His massively successful Al Futaim group has holdings all over the world, including in Kenya, Japan, and Morocco. In fact, Forbes said Al Futaim's conglomerate was so large and profitable that it could account for up to 15% of Dubai's gross domestic product. That means that Futaim is worth a considerable $2.5 billion, making him the eighth wealthiest person in Dubai, and he is not shy about flashing this wealth around the city. In 2010, Al Futaim reportedly bought a yacht from the late Russian oligarch Boris Berezovsky. The oligarch ordered the yacht at Lursen for an amount of 150 million euros. When Berezovsky ran into financial difficulties, he failed payments on installments, and the construction of the yacht was delayed. Ultimately, Futaim helped him out of his financial troubles, and can be seen sailing the yacht all around the Gulf Emirates. Add to this a fleet of sports cars, and you have the raw materials of a serious luxury portfolio. Sonny Varki is the brains behind GEMS Education, one of the largest private school operators in the world for students from kindergarten to grade 12. Under Varki's leadership, the group morphed from a single school to an operator that oversees the education of 110,000 students in 100 schools across 10 countries. Mr. Varki's parents, both teachers, arrived in Dubai in 1959 to seek a better life for their family, and what they found was a real need to educate children arriving in the city from around the world. Their son, Sonny, added a visionary's ambition to a practitioner's experience. From simple roots in a family of teachers, GEMS Education is today the largest privately owned international school provider, educating over 100,000 students across the globe, with an aim to provide a quality education to everyone. Varki is also a huge philanthropist and has donated more than $30 million to provide education to those in need through a nonprofit with the support of Bill Clinton and others. But this is only a drop in the pail for the Dubai resident, who is worth $2.6 billion. In addition, Varki has signed the Giving Pledge and has committed to donate his full fortune over the course of his lifetime.
Dr. Babagutu Raghuram Shetty set foot in the sands of UAE for the first time back in 1973 in underdeveloped Abu Dhabi. This was the beginning of the journey to care for more than a million patients and a never-ending commitment to bring healthy habits to the region. It all began with a few dirhams in his pocket, a degree in clinical pharmacy, and an insatiable hope and ambition. The Indian-born businessman started the company Neo Pharma when he was a young man, but this was only the first of his many ventures. He then founded UAE Exchange with the intention of finding a way for Emirates citizens to send money back to their respective home countries. These are enormously profitable, but his biggest asset is London-listed NMC Health, one of the UAE's largest hospital chains. With numerous investments all around the world, BR Shetty is worth $2.6 billion, and his fortune is growing every year, and he doesn't spend his cast wealth on himself. He supports a number of medical facilities around the world, including the Special Care Center in Abu Dhabi and the Cancer Foundation run by Pakistan Prime Minister Imran Khan, among others. Mickey Jagtiani is another Indian business magnate with an empire in Dubai, but his story is particularly international. Jagtiani was born in Kuwait and moved back to India with his family. He did his schooling in Madras, Mumbai, and Beirut before moving to London, where he joined an accounting school from which he eventually dropped out. Here he worked as a taxi driver until the death of his brother. At this point, Jagtiani moved to Bahrain to take over his brother's business that he turned into a baby product shop. When the Gulf War struck, he moved to Dubai, where he founded the Landmark Group. Over the years, the Landmark Group expanded into fashion, electronics, furniture, and budget hotels in the Middle East and Southeast Asia. It employs around 45,000 people and has more than 1,000 stores across the Persian Gulf region, Middle East, and India. Unlike other Dubai billionaires who are close with the Trump administration, Jagtiani's company suspended sales of all Trump-branded products in its stores after the U.S. president made anti-Muslim remarks during his election campaign. The Buddhist magnate's wealth has fluctuated by more than $2 billion in the past two years, but he is currently worth more than $3.5 billion, making him the fifth richest man in Dubai. Continuing the prolific trend of Indian men who moved to Dubai in search of greater opportunity, Ravi Pillai had a string of failed businesses in India and Saudi Arabia before he finally took the plunge to the wealthy Arab Emirate. Pillai received an MBA in his hometown in India, and though he failed many times, this knowledge served him well as he launched RP Group, a major Emirati conglomerate and one of the biggest employers in the Middle East, with over 70,000 employees. Pillai has expanded his business to other countries, including United Arab Emirates, Qatar, and Bahrain, and has interests in construction, hospitality, steel, cement, and oil and gas industries. This business offers Palaya a one-way ticket to a luxurious lifestyle. He has homes all over the world, including a penthouse in Trump Tower in Pune City. He spent an absolutely unbelievable $7.5 million on his daughter's wedding. The wedding was organized by the production designer who worked on the film Bahubali. This makes it one of the most expensive weddings in history. But the cost of the wedding was negligible to Palai, who has a net worth of over $4.3 billion. By now you may have noticed a trend. M.A. Yusuf Ali was born in India, but made all his riches in the United Arab Emirates. He is the chairman and managing director of Lulu Group International that owns the Lulu hypermarket chain worldwide and Lulu International Shopping Mall. With an annual turnover of $7.4 billion globally, Lulu Group International employs the largest number of Indians outside India. All of this translates to a $4.4 billion fortune, the third biggest in Dubai. And Ali has many toys, from luxury cars to helicopters, but he is also renowned for his philanthropy. Yusuf Ali is very closely involved in many social, charitable, and humanitarian activities, both in India as well as in the Arab states of the Gulf. Recently, the Lulu Group joined hands with Dubai Cares and adopted schools in Gaza and Nepal. Yusuf Ali contributed and took initiative to open a multi-faith funeral center for the Indian community in Sharjah that spread across 8.3 acres. He also took the initiative to sell and promote organic products grown by the special needs community in UAE through Lulu Hypermarkets. Then this year, Ali received a distinct honor from his newfound home. He was both proud and humbled after receiving the UAE's first golden card, granting him permanent residency in the country in which he has built an empire. Perceptive viewers will notice that we already had an Al Guerrero on our list. That is because the second richest man in Dubai, Abdullah Al Guerrero, is the cousin of the 10th richest man, Saif Al Guerrero. The mega billionaire founded Mashrik Bank in 1967, one of the UAE's leading banks. He remains chairman, and his son Abdullah Aziz is CEO. He is also the founder of Al Guerrero, a United Arab Emirates based family owned conglomerate. It owns the UAE's largest flour mill, a commodities trader, a water company, an animal feed producer, as well as hotels, apartments, and a Dubai shopping mall. He also has stakes in the National Cement Company, among many other ventures. Like every other billionaire on the list, Guerrero has his hands in numerous businesses around the Emirate. They earned him a $5 billion fortune, and though his net worth has been as high as $8 billion, he still commands respect around the UAE. 
His lifetime of hard work has cemented him as the second richest man in Dubai. No easy feat in a city that values opulence above all else. That's my nigga. Majid al Futaim is the richest man in Dubai, with an astounding fortune of $6 billion. His eponymous business, usually shortened to MAF, has $10.6 billion in annual revenues and is making more every single year. MAF owns and operates 12 hotels and 22 malls, including Mall of the Emirates in Dubai and Mall of Egypt in Cairo. As of 2015, the holding company worked in 13 countries, including UAE, Lebanon, Egypt, Saudi Arabia, Oman, Bahrain, Kuwait, Qatar, Jordan, Pakistan, Iraq, Armenia, and Georgia. Unlike some of his Emirati rivals, Futain focuses on entertainment, such as cinemas and concerts. This diversification helped boost his portfolio to new heights. He also has a stake in the fashion world, with exclusive licensing rights for fashion brands such as Abercrombie & Fitch, All Saints, Lululemon, and Athletica. He also owns a monster $250 million mega yacht. The ship is 139 meters long and can accommodate 16 guests in 8 staterooms. The yacht has a crew of 29 and plenty of room for Al Futain to entertain guests for weeks on end.